Nigel. So, at home. How was the exam? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let me know what grade you think you get if you would have to do it over January. What is the case? So I got the paper and I'm gonna do a little solution video. Everything, whole paper. You'll be able to evaluate yourself, tell yourself what grade you feel you're going and get. Um, check your marks. Huh? My first impressions of the paper was, wow, this thing really easy, but, but then I take a look at it again and I was like, maybe not so much. Because a lot of key things that I was looking for, like inverse functions, simultaneous equations with matrices, um, difference, difference of two squares, those things didn't come. The exam was different, easier, but just because it was different, it made it harder. But there were still a lot of questions that repeat, even some things that I do just last night, velocity time graph, and, and the factorization thing, and the matrix transformation, yeah, and the median, I mean, those things, those things came right back. So let's take a look at the solutions. Alright, so this is what they gave us a sample paper. And the first question was easy. 24.332 decimal places. You know, you had nothing to round off there. You had the seven to round off here because. You'll send that up to 8 since this is past 5, so you're going to do decimal places. Things start to get a little more tough here because we had an equation to use. But you just need to plug in your number of customers, get that number. For the second part, we've got the wage takeaway. Get 400 divide by, you know, this is one customer commission. Bam, you get 445 customers. Um, this part, you have to create your own new equation for the next person, um, Shona. And then, this was the tricky part that went for three marks. You had to equate the two equations. The first one that they gave you, the original equation, and the new one that you make up. Let N and M be the same, because they said that. Both of them share the same amount of customers. And you rearrange the suit, and you'd be able to get this value. So this was a tough part. This was probably the first challenging question. Question two was very straightforward. Difference of two squares, factorize in here then solution, then quadratic equation where we had to not get this, you have to get the solution I just wrote in the solution here because it said equal to zero so we need, this. we need to solve that one, right? then you had a little rearrange in here wait, first you have to substitute then you have to rearrange and then you had a little beautiful this was probably the easiest construction question in decades ever the one trick in this question was Bisecting the 60 degrees to get 30 degrees and you're getting four marks for that. So that was easy. Question two and three was straightforward. In the next part in question three, you had to do a little enlargement of the line PQ and then you had to do a reflection. Um, they asked you for a point here as well. Easy stuff there. The trick was knowing that the line y equals zero is really the x-axis. In question four, they brought functions with a different twist. They didn't ask you to find inverse or anything like that. They just asked you to substitute some values. There was a heap of substituting, substituting, substituting in this paper. Substitute for x, then you substitute for f of x to get the answer for, for these two. Then you have to write out the ordered pairs for that question. You could always pause the video, watch it, and take it in. This is not like a tutorial video. This is just raw solutions coming at you fast speed, right? Um then you had to show why this wouldn't work f of x is not equal to 5 why, why, that, why is that so because the domain is specified the range is specified nobody else would come in the dance right um then you have to solve the inequalities then show it on the graph this inequality you have to switch around so the sign flipped and you get your little um, not on the graph on the number line you have to show it for number five you had a kind of pie chart scene happening here so to find x here you know you have to do a little subtraction 360 take away the angles and you get your angle for x and then you get your percentage by putting 94 over 360 because 94 was cricket and you get your percentage as well then they ask you 40 students is equal to something in tennis work it out so you put 45 over 360 that's the number in tennis is equal to 40 students and then you work out what would be the whole amount you get 320 so this is like finding for one 
40 over 45 times 360. Next up, we had a nice little frequency polygon right here. Um, following the table simply um, by using the graph. Notice how they didn't bring it down to the x axis. Sometimes they have to bring it down. But Alright, so modal number is one goal because um, seven matches had one goal. Then you have to find the median number of goals to find that, you know, you'll have to cross out, but all of them are kind of grouped up here. So you need to know to cross out there, you can write out all 25 of them, which would just be kind of crazy, but at least you'll get the answer if you don't know how to do this. And you would have gotten that it was two goals and one more thing. Oh yeah, the mean number, so you multiply each, each section, get that there, 54 um, in all, divide by the number of matches, 54 goals in all, divide by the number of matches, you get 2.16. And then we had some circle finding the area, area of the square minus, get the cross-sectional area before you do a little circumference stuff. Then this was the tricky part here, you need to know the cross-sectional area by the thickness will give you the volume. Then you divide, um, then you divide the volume of the material by the volume of one disc to get how much this you need and you know you're wrong down so the maximum number of this we could get is this. Next up we had a question that was looking real tough but it was actually easy. The scales. 160 cm to that kilometers. So in the end you'll end up with 500 km was equal to 2 centimeters. The working is there, remember you could always pause, I'm kind of speeding. And when you establish this 1 cm to 250 kilometers scale you could actually work out the 25 centimeters is going to be that. In this one you have to draw the fourth sequence, so you draw it right here, but I just ratch and just put it up here. Don't do, if you do this you would not get any marks, I just do that for speed and sake. And then you complete the table. So this question was very very easy except for this last part here boy. This last part, this last part that's the terminal relationship between S and P. The relationship was this, P is equal to 2 times S plus 2. Right, so you need to really compare these last two to get that. And that was the end of section 1, so let's go on to section 2. Alright, so section 2. Let me start off by saying section 2 was extremely easy if you knew about it. But if you didn't revise well like the entire syllabus, uh, some of these things would be brand new to you and that would make it hard. So the first part had a messed up looking graph like that. That you just need to finish and if you drew this graph and you weren't comfortable about it, that's ho this whole question can I just throw you off by just seeing this graph. You're like, what the? Anyhow, so yeah, but that's how it looked. Then you had to draw the line where y is equal to 6 because they give you to solve this equation here. And the x values that cut that line are x1, y, x1, x2 and that, those are the answers. So, quick marks in this question if you were comfortable with the weirdness of it. Very easy stuff, but very weird stuff. This question, eh, somebody revving the kind of background. I don't know if I like it here. People say when I complain, about noise a little here. But anyhow, so this question was, um, we did this last night, right? So the gradient was the acceleration. You just find the gradient. Remember I told you, just learn gradient. At least you get some marks. Boom, we get a mark there for gradient acceleration. The average speed is the distance divided by time. The distance is the area and the graph. They just wanted it for this point. I think they wanted it for stage B. So that's just this part. So you just work out the area of this trapezium or you can work out the area of a rectangle and a triangle. Look back and watch and you realize we do this exact same style of question last night. And anyhow, you get the average speed and that was a full three marks for that. And then you, this part was weird. It's only one mark though. I use the equation v is equal to u plus 80, but you could have used some common sense to figure it out as well. But this was probably this right here, this one mark was the hardest one mark to get in the entire paper if you didn't know about it. Right? To get the time. 16 seconds. The bearings question was straightforward. If you understood bearings, you would have laughed at this question. B from F. Well, you know B from F. Let me just stick out my mark. I didn't want to write anything here, but you know now. So that's, this is not. So you need to add this 180 plus this angle here, which is actually from this angle because you know alternate angles, blah blah blah. So you get 222. So B from F is actually this bearing here. This whole thing. So you need to understand that bearings take place from the north and it goes here and it's B from F and not F from B. So some people are sure, are sure some people write 42. But it's actually 180 plus 42. It's B from F. Anyhow, this is not an explanation thing, this is just solutions. So calculate the distance, use the cosine rule. So um, you use your cosine rule, you get that. Then you use the sine rule based on that you would have already found what this just was. 
um, 69.6 and you put that there and you use your sine rule and you'll be able to get the angle um, here right once you get this angle you're able now to find the bearing of G from B which is this angle which you just found 55 plus um, 42 so I'll like to check this over and get back my calculator from the Galo board for exam yet so I just do this thing on my phone and I could have made a mistake so I'll like to check it over and see if I get a 97 I got for the angle here right um, this was really easy as well and I'm sorry if I'm saying really easy and to you it was really hard I'm sorry but it was really easy here's what you have to do angles in a semicircle is 90 degrees so you're able you'll be able to figure out angle ABC if this is 90 and this is already given you can figure out that angle in the corner here and then you had to do CMB angle CMB I'm sorry if it's a little small CMB is this angle here so it would have been kind of weird but then you realize that this is a cyclic quadrilateral so this angle plus this angle yep cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degrees so I just take away this from 180 and I'll be able to get angle quicker alright so then NMC so this is like quick 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 marks if you understood what to do NMC is NMC well that's just a simple triangle there I got the 58 I got this 58 here because this whole thing is this whole angle here is uh, which I'm messing up my paper this whole angle here is 180 degrees and we just found this guy this guy was 122 so 122 180 take away that get you 58 once you get you 58 you have 90 there so you'll be able to get and see them um, very quickly all right so this was easy this was food and then the transformation so this was like the weirdest question this was like what the hell so people who practice up the simultaneous equation and turn back and was like ready for this when they come and see this they would be like oh my gosh but strange enough we did a transformation video very 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 recently if you look back at my recent videos so you have been able to get out this this and possibly this possibly the whole question if you watch that video all right so transformation you just multiply the transformation by the point and you get your answer in this one you wanted to go backwards you wanted to go from the answer back to the original so you need to use the inverse of the transformation matrix so you just find inverse same concepts and there, this one is a is a combined transformation to do a combined transformation they said the transformation of t followed by p so it's t followed by p it's important which order you put there you can't put tp you add up a pt t followed by p you understand composite stuff and then you get that matrix which is a new transformation stuff which you got two marks so and then you just need to multiply that by this point to be able to get the answer here and that's the end of your exam 100 marks so let me know how much marks you think you collect in this exam and what kind of grade you feel you're working with all right so the sun is setting in Karapichaima it was a beautiful day of mass I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did And remember, even if you feel you didn't make it, you have a next chance. You only fail, you only really fail if you give up. So you have a next chance. Here's the next chance. And maybe next time around, there may be even more videos. You'll be able to revise a little more, you'll be more prepared, and you might just get through. So I see you all suggesting mostly chemistry that you all want me to do, so I will go ahead with the chemistry. I think chemistry comes before admats. No, I think ADMA, it's ADMATS, then chemistry and physics. So I'll go ahead with chemistry, I'll do some ADMATS as well because I know there's not much stuff for you all for ADMATS online anyway. So I'll do some ADMATS questions and when we are finished with the chemistry and the ADMATS exam, it'll be physics time to shine. Alright, so catch you around.